okay students welcome to my channel so in this video we are going to understand we are going to learn about improper integrals right so before uh, understanding the improper integrals let us talk about proper integrals first right so what are proper integrals basically so let us suppose an integral is given integration 0 to 2 x square dx so in this given integral if and see the both of these limits are basically bounded or a finite limit is given right so this kind of uh, integrals is known as known as proper integrals right on the other hand let's take about let's uh, consider a limit this one in uh, <coughs> integration 0 to infinity f of x <coughs> dx so in this given integral you can clearly see that the limit the lower limit is bounded whereas the upper limit is not bounded it is going towards the infinity so this kind of integrals is called improper integrals there are many types it can be like this also like minus infinity to 0 f of x dx right it can be also minus infinity to plus infinity f of x dx so where are the where the limit is towards infinity the upper limit the lower limit or both are mm, infinity or actually not bounded you can say in in that case the integral is said to be improper okay so improper integrals are basically of two types the first type we can say type 1 like we say the impro improper integrals of first kind and the second one type 2 the improper integrals of second kind let us check out type 1 okay before that how can how, how can we define basically how can we define improper integrals so the definition like let us check out this one integration a to b f of f of x dx so if we want to define this integration as uh, <coughs> improper integrals in integration then we must write the improper integrals the improper integral or infinite integral is named when either a or b or both are infinite or both a a or b or both are infinite okay or f of x is unbounded f of x is unbounded in a less than equals to x less than equals to b so improper integrals or infinite integrals is named when both a or b means if you consider this integral if a means the lower limit or b or both are infinite or f of x is unbounded or if we evaluate this kind of given integral if the, the result is coming as unbounded means infinity or minus infinity okay so that type of integral is also called as infinite or improper integrals sometimes you know it happens that the given integral the limits are not are actually bounded but when you evaluate this kind of integrals the result comes are uh, actually unbounded like in like an in infinity or minus infinity so those type of uh, integrals are also called as improper integrals like this concept will uh, be clear after you know giving few examples so let's check out with an example so this example is of type 1 okay type 1 
so type what are the forms i said so in type forms in type in the improper integrals of first kind you will have three kinds of forms three forms the first one is in integration zero to infinity f of x dx the second form is mm, sorry minus infinity to zero f of x dx and the third form is minus infinity to plus infinity f of x dx so if any of these three forms are given in your question then the given uh, integrals is said to be the improper integrals of first kind fine okay let's solve an example the lower limit is given as minus infinity and the upper limit is given as zero the upper limit which is definitely a finite finite one and the lower limit is given to infinite so this is obviously a kind of improper integrals of type 1 or you can say first kind right so when the limit when the lower limit is given to minus infinity we cannot solve this we cannot solve this in or you can say we cannot evaluate this rather by the property of integration right so to we need to eliminate this minus infinity part to <coughs> to solve this kind of problems okay so how can we eliminate this by taking a variable by taking a new variable which is approaching towards minus minus infinity but it's not actually minus infinity fine if you consider on the number line you know that the by the concepts of uh, limit the a variable tends to that uh, point but doesn't attain that point it goes very near to that right so we can use this by the help of limit so we can take limit and consider a new variable which i have written as capital x which is approaching which is approaching towards the minus infinity part but not actually minus infinity so when you are taking limit you can see the limits are changing from uh, infinite to a finite one so now you have a finite lower limit which is denoted by capital x right so now you can write capital uh, zero to infinity sorry limit x tends to minus infinity uh, integration x to 0 e of x dx fine so now you um, uh, you know that the by the uh, properties of integration the limit will remain x tends to minus infinity and the integration of e to the power x is e to the power x only the limit is sorry x to 0 fine now we shall you shall see that uh, you, you should put the limits now limit uh, i'm sorry so the upper limit e to the power zero and the lower limit minus the lower limit e to the power x fine limit x tends to i'm sorry minus infinity because you are keeping the variable capital x now you shall uh, like uh, put the limits over here so e to the power 0 minus e to the power the value of x is minus infinity so e to the power minus infinity now so e to the power 0 is 1 all of us know and uh, e to the power uh, minus infinity is 1 by e to the power infinity fine okay 1 by e to the power infinity so 1 by e to the power infinity is infinity only right and we know that 1 by infinity is 0 so 1 minus 0 is 0 which is the sorry 1 minus 0 is 1 which is the required answer fine so in this way we can solve we can solve this kind of problems by the property of improper integrals so hope this video helps you so if you like the way i teach you can uh, join me by subscribing to my channel and liking this video thank you and goodbye